a little bit about how this app came to be. Well, um, initially, uh, I came up with the idea of using uh, an entertainment app that was made by Motion Portrait. And what you could do is you could pre-record responses on uh, on it, and then it would animate uh, in kind of a, a very simple way what you said onto someone's uh, face. And so I started using that with um, kids who have echolalia. And so, for example, when you say, you know, hello, Billy, oftentimes a, a child with echolalia will say just exactly what you've just said. Hello, hello Billy. Billy. And yeah. so I thought, oh, my gosh, I don't really know how to... Uh, teach him to say hi Matthew or hi Matt. So uh, what I did is I pre-recorded um, hi Mr. Matt and so I came up to the uh, boy and said you know hi Billy and then played the hi Mr. Matt and then he uh, repeated what was on on the app hi Mr. Matt and I thought oh wow that was interesting. Because um, we should point out that Matt you are a speech and language pathologist correct? Yes I am. Uh huh. And you've been working with kids on the autism spectrum for a while now and who better to create an app what what this app does is help build those uh, verbal language skills and kids that it might be a little bit tough to get to that that vocal language correct? Yes. And so I started doing some research about video modeling, and in fact, uh, uh, that video modeling has gotten a lot of traction in terms of a uh, evidence-based uh, intervention for teaching functional skills, including uh, communication skills for uh, kids on the autism spectrum or people on the autism spectrum. So uh, I got in contact with Lois Jean Brady, uh, who is um, also a speech pathologist, and she and I uh, worked together very much about how to make the user interface really simple and how to edit everything very simply. And then we contacted uh, Motion Portrait, which is a Sony subsidiary, and uh, they had this technology developed to uh, animate photographs into 3D avatars. And uh, so we started experimenting with it, and it really provided a lot of uh, um, engagement, uh, which is very different from typical AAC apps. You know, they're, they're often just producing speech. There isn't a lot of engagement. You have to kind of design activities around using those apps, whereas this, you know, a kid can see himself talk or see someone else talk and be uh, really uh, engaged by what's on the screen. It can also model target behavior, which is exactly what video modeling does, is you show an image of someone executing something correctly and then he, uh, you know, particularly kids on the autism spectrum, they tend to learn very well by watching themselves do something correctly. So this, we can we can model what they need to do in real time um, and uh, uh, we're showing them they can we can animate uh, toys we can animate pictures we can animate a picture of oneself and it's uh, a lot of fun and the, it, it, we tried very hard to keep it affordable too so more people could um, could use it absolutely and we know that a lot of the the apps that you can buy that help in, with language can get very pricey there uh, Matt's having a ball playing over no, here you can actually type you can actually type words in this and it yes, will say you the can words. Type words and wow and it's, Make your own buttons and everything. But, you know, some of the different apps that we talk about that people have been using for a couple of years now, they can be more than $100, $150. Mm -hmm. And so tell them how much they can get this app for right now on uh, the, the different stores. Right now we have it for sale. It's a promotional sale for uh, less than $10, so $9.99. And then we're... Uh, we're going to offer that uh, uh, for a while, and then it'll cost no more than uh, 19.99. So that's the maximum it'll cost.